What's up everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and this is the gold color with 128 gigabytes of storage. So if you're looking for the entry model version of the iPhone 13 Pro Max, this video is for you. Let's get started. And there it is. And this is supposedly the gold color and it almost looks white in this lighting right now. I will give you a full look and a detailed look at this color as it does change depending on the direction of light. But uh, let's put it aside and take a look at the lack there of accessories that you're going to get. So you're gonna get basically just your USB-C to lightning cable. And then you're gonna get a few pieces of paperwork here your Apple stickers and your SIM ejection tool. Don't lose that. I get questions about that SIM card tool all the time. All right, so that is the gold and look at that edge. Now as usual, let's take a closer look around the iPhone 13 Pro Max and see what it is all about. First off on the left side, we have our mute and silent switch, which is nice to see. We have our two volume rockers and our SIM tray for our SIM card. On the bottom, we have our lightning port and then we have some openings for our speaker, venting and our microphone. On the right side is simply just the side button. And finally up top, Pretty clean, nothing to it there. Now you've probably noticed throughout the edges of all of these angles I've been showing you here that the fingerprints are so prominent, especially when the light hits them. And this is nothing new. It's been like this for all stainless steel iPhones. Over to the back side, this is where some of the bigger changes have taken place, but we're gonna take a look at the color of this gold iPhone 13 Pro Max first and the way that it sort of changes in the light. Now I'm trying to curve it around here to give you the gold and there it is. That's the gold that you can kind of see. It's very faint. If I turn it away from the light, you're getting more of a gray color or a white color. And the further away you go from the light, it almost transitions to a darker gray. But like I said, um, you can catch that gold in the light. And if you are planning to purchase the gold model, the prominent gold is inside or located within the stainless steel edging. It's more of a champagne or creamy color on the back. Up top, we have the big cameras here and the triple cameras are back once again. They're just larger, both in size and in thickness. So that means that protruding camera is now gonna protrude more. So if you have this down on a table like so, it's going to wobble quite a bit. And putting it side by side with the iPhone 12 Pro, you can see how much higher up it stands with that camera protrusion. You can almost see half of the thickness of the iPhone 13 Pro at its peak. Now with that being said, the phone being thicker isn't the greatest thing, but it is going to allow you to take advantage of new features within the camera, mainly the three times optical zoom. So now you'll be able to zoom into things a little bit further without sacrificing your quality of the photo. Additionally, we have the larger lenses here, which means there's larger sensors inside. That means you're gonna take better photos, better videos. You'll be able to take advantage of better features inside this camera application. Things like the cinematic mode, which you can see right here, is giving you the ability to almost shoot portrait mode-like photos, but in video mode. So I can focus in on the subject and have the background blurred. And that's something that we weren't able to do with previous generation iPhones. These cameras are also still 12 megapixels. You're still getting the wide, ultra wide and telephoto lens. The wide angle now does have the ability to shoot macro photos. So for example, if you wanna get up close to your subject, you can now get super close and keep that quality. As you can see here on screen, I'm about two centimeters away from this and I can get right in there and see all the details of my subject. Finally, we have the LiDAR scanner again, and that's gonna help you with your night mode, portrait mode, and all around filming photo options within the camera for distance and light. Also, if you use augmented reality applications, that's gonna be there to help you with that as well. And then we have our flash at the top. Over to the front side, another one of Apple's big changes is the display, but we'll talk about that in a second. Let's look at that notch that's now slimmed down a little bit here. In comparison with the iPhone 12 Pro, you can see how much it's actually shrunk down in size. 
Although it's nice to see that that's shrinking, I'd prefer it gone. I'm not sure what having it this size, having this little bit of extra real estate on these two edges is gonna do for us, but it is at least not going to sacrifice our camera at the front, which is still our 12 megapixel front facing camera, and it's still gonna allow us to use face ID. You also see that we still have our speaker up top, but it's now pushed right up against the metal. Now onto the display. So it's still coming in at 6.7 inches for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's now going to be a brighter display and it's also going to take advantage of an adaptive 120 Hertz refresh rate. And that means that it's going to be able to go down all the way to 10 Hertz and then ramp up all the way to 120 Hertz, depending on the actions you're performing and what you're doing with the phone. Now, if you're not sure what this means, it's basically going to help keep movement on the screen smooth there. So if you're scrolling around, the words should not be jumbled up or blurred out. They should still be readable. If you're moving around applications, it should remove some of that jitter as well. Just an overall smoother experience when moving around on your phone. Battery life has also exceeded expectations, at least for me here. The iPhone 12 Pro Max was already a beast when it came to the battery life, and the 13 Pro Max now has a larger battery within it and now can last about two and a half hours more than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now powering the iPhone 13 Pro Max is the A15 Bionic chip, again, to make things run smoother, faster, and give you more capabilities as time progresses so that you can push these phones with photos, videos, editing, and all that good stuff, hence the name Pro with these phones. So keep that in mind as well. If you're looking to purchase one of these, they're quite pricey and they do come in multiple colors. I actually unboxed the Sierra Blue iPhone 12. So if you wanna look at that video as well to see that new color, you can do so. The link to that is in the description. But other than that, that is the iPhone 13 Pro Max unboxing and the features to expect if you're planning on purchasing this. My personal opinion is if you have an iPhone 11 or later, this isn't the time to upgrade. I just feel like next year is gonna be big and I'm really waiting for those folded phones. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any questions, let me know as well. And also let me know if you're purchasing an iPhone 13, which one you're purchasing and what color. And if you're looking for more iPhone 13 content, there's a link in the description. I'm putting together a whole pile of iPhone 13 videos with tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you get the most out of your new iPhone. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and the bell notification box to be notified when I post those new videos. And as always, I will see you in the next one.